when the kids hear how to use the reading materials to make a polygraph or a sound object print so that that makes it easier for their work product. An empty box, scissors, string, and glue. Let's get started. Now you have, you have an option here. You could just start using your glue to put on your design and attach your string with the glue, what I show next. Or if you like to plan like I do, you could take a pencil or a pen or a marker and draw out your design first. So let's see how that looks. Now we're going to take our glue and trace onto our drawing, or just if you want, you can just draw directly onto the cardboard with the glue. And you think about lines. I'm going to work in sections here, so it's a little bit easier to control. But you could go from the video clip to the screen. You could just move it over your fingers like that. All right, now that we've finished gluing on our yarn, we are going to let this sit overnight so it can get nice and dry. Okay, so our printing uh, plate with our yarn, which I glued on yesterday, is dried overnight. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get out a little plate or a palette if you have one. And I'm going to use gold paint that I happen to have in the house. You can use whatever kind of paint that you want, whatever color you want. You could use as many colors as you want. You're also going to tear down some paper. You could use construction paper or colored paper, or you could just use plain white paper. And you want it to be a little bit bigger than your printing plate. So, your small amount of paint out, you don't need much. We'll take our printing plate using a dry brush, tap the paint onto your dry brush, and just cover your yarn. Try to keep it on the yarn as much as possible. If it gets on the plate, that's okay. It'll just add a little bit of character to your print. 
so I just finished um, putting the layer of paint onto my printing plate. Now I'm going to take my white paper and I'm going to place it on top and then just use my hand to gently press all over the paper. And these are all going to be different. They're not going to be perfect and that's kind of the charm of printmaking is that they're all the same, but they're all a little bit different, especially when you use your hands to make these. So let's see how this one turned out. You can hold your finger down on the printing plate and then gently lift. And there is my copy of my artwork here. Nice little print. Let's make another one. Now, you could do a ghost print, uh, which is when um, we're just going to put the plate paper without putting more paint on and press. It's called a ghost print because it's going to make a lighter image. And that's kind of cool. There we go. So it's, I know it's kind of hard to see because I picked the color that was so similar. But it's a little bit lighter than this one. And then you could just continue to make as many copies as you wanted to. This is um, the way that artists used to make copies of their artwork back before we had Xerox machines and digital scanners and things like that. So I hope you enjoy this project. I hope you have a great time and I'll talk to you later. Bye friends.